Alright guys, it's time! You guys know what time it is! It's time to... You can't reroll, alright? You can't reroll. So then, uh, this will help you towards your PT for sure if you're pulling for Zilla. But how many of you guys are pulling for Zilla? Or are you guys saving for the next dude, you know? Okay, 10 free tickets guys, go and claim it. But you need to be AR 10. I mean it's not AR, uh, Trailblaze level 10, okay? Trailblaze level 10. Okay guys, let's go. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Wow. Okay guys, who are we getting? <laughs> no 5 star? You got Pella again. Pella! Okay, okay, look at this. Oh! E2! You get what I'm saying? E2! I'll take an E2. Give me one more, give me one more. No rainbow ticket, no 5 star. I don't mind Natasha, okay? I'm a Natasha main for now until I get Bailu if I if that will ever happen. But... Yeah, I doubt I'll get anything here. You got Zilla on my Bronya account. Damn! Zilla on your Bronya account. I think that's about it. Yeah, GG man. What do you guys get? Hopefully you guys got something good from that. Hey, what is up guys? Before we proceed with more pulls, I did a, a couple of standard pulls uh, later on. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about the store. If you guys are not aware, it resets, right? So basically this thing right here, uh, if this is going to reset every single month, similar to how Genshin works. And right now, this month, we're going to have Dunheng and Serva. Now we just had Esther and Arlen just left. So this is going to be the new four stars available. Now in this game, however, you do have the ability to collect this Undying Starlight to purchase the 5 star light cones which is going to be way more valuable. So that's going to be something that you want to look forward to, the 5 star light cones as opposed to getting these 4 stars. But uh, I do think that Dunheng at E1 is going to be a decent choice, right? Both Dunheng and Serva I wouldn't say is that bad. But still, for majority of the free-to-play players, getting 5-star Light Cone is definitely going to be the one that you want to opt out on. Now, it feels like the best one, based on what I'm observing right now, is going to be this particular one, uh, the Destruction one, for Clara. Definitely, if you own a Clara, this is going to be very, very good. Uh, increases wearer's attack by 24% when wearer defeats an enemy or is hit, immediately restores HP. 8% uh, of the wearer's attack. At the same time, the wearer's damage is increased by 24% until the end of their next turn. Again, very very uh, viable or very consistent and universal light cone right here. Some of these right here, for example, uh, Himeko's one, this one seems a little bit dependent on the enemy. You can see for every enemy on the field, increases the wearer's attack by 9%. So more enemies, this is going to give you more damage for sure, very very good. But the issue is also going to be if there's only one boss, then it's not so consistent. But yeah, uh, weakness break, if you are able to do that, the damage dealt by the wearer increases by 30% for one turn. So obviously, it's going to depend on who you have ideally. But again, 4 star light cones, you're definitely going to have plenty of those before you are able to purchase any of this. It's going to be a while. Alright, let's jump into the pools. Alright, I got 30 pools, 40 pools, I think. Let me see. Uh, there's some here that I haven't cleaned yet. This is going to be for the Trailblaze level 15. You got 10 pools, alright? Level 25, got 10 more pulls. I'm not yet at 35, but that's later on you get 10 more pulls. Okay, uh, hopefully if I get something good, cool, if I don't, uh, it's not the end of the world. Uh, apparently you can get, what is this? Apparently there's a chance to get the light cone as well, it seems like. I wonder what are the odds. I guess it's the same. Oh, so you might not necessarily get characters. You can also get light cones. Let's see if I get anything good here. Uh, it would be nice to get something from standard. Okay. It's purple. 90 PT is hard. It is hard. Uh, some 4 stars along the way wouldn't be too bad. You got a 5 star light cone in there. Damn. Okay, so far it's blue. Let's look at what the purple will be. Oh, this is new. Wait, what does this do? Pioneering. Surprisingly, I still haven't gotten some 3 stars yet. Okay, the birth of the self. Wait, apparently I've gotten this because there's no new tag right there. 
So that means this is something that I've gotten before. Uh, increased damage dealt by the wearer's follow-up attacks by 24%. If the current HP of the target enemy is below or equal to 50%, increases damage dealt by follow-up attacks by an extra 24%. Her thumb in. No her thumb in. Purple or yellow? Alright, still purple. Steel purple. Okay, so we got uh collapsing sky. Fine fruit. Yo Yo Su Shang Okay now this this could be an interesting one. I might consider building her because I actually need a physical physical character. So having something like this is gonna be quite interesting. I think she's gonna be a good addition to my team. Uh, isn't the guitar girl erudition? Is she though? I can't remember. Alright, Su Sheng is going to be a nice one. I'll try, I'll definitely consider building her. Although I'm really, really low on resources right now. She's so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Su Sheng and Ting Yun. Okay. And that's my only new, new thing, I think. Everything else here, I've already gotten. Doesn't Sushan as KFC ultimate? Yes, she does. Last... Last 10. Yellow or purple? Purple or yellow? And... Oh, this is a new one, okay. Wow. Well, who is that? Is that March 7 when she was a kid? Okay, that's a 4 star light cone. So that means I don't think I'll be getting a character here. Uh, yeah, I doubt I'll be getting anything here at, at all whatsoever. Destruction. Okay. Increase wearer's attack by 16%. When the wearer defeats an enemy, the wearer's crit rate increases by 12% for 3 turns. We're gonna spend a bit of uh, Stella Jits. We'll do the last one. Although I, I, doubt, I doubt there'll be anything happening here. Destruction character, hard to be categorized. Just a damage dealer. Okay. Who? Who's right here? How many pulls have I done? 40 pulls. Wow. Bella. Maybe I can build her. I do need uh, an eye start. Best debuff. Okay, now the question is, do I use... My special ticket. So this is just going to be stack PT for me. Let's go. Stack PT. Stack. Wait, I see a ticket flying around. Is that a Q? I don't think it's a Q. It's just a four star. Who am I kidding, right? All right. Stack PT, guys. This is how you stack PT. True, true. Ooh, okay. Uh, I got her at E3 right now. Oh, two four star. I got a sword play. Glossy ticket means you got five star. Glossy. Wow. Wait, I got three four stars right here. I got three four stars. That's pretty good. Okay, let me, I'm more interested in this one. What is this? Uh, for each time the wearer hits the same target, damage dealt increases by eight percent, stacking up to five times. This effect will be dispelled when the wearer changes targets. This is really good on bosses. Like if you're fighting a boss, this particular one is insane. Su Sheng plus Su Sheng Kon, yeah. So yeah guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. Give this video a like. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know who do you guys pull for in your recent uh, free 10 pulls as well. As always, have a nice day. Goodbye.